Japan might make some massive mistake when it comes to the next variant. War changes didn't make it in on time. And Guillotine 2099 God Tier Synergy is getting a nerf. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to the 18th of October edition of Marvel Contest of Champions News. Lots of little stories and also we're going to be doing the announcement of the winners of the giveaway. So I hope you entered in time. But also don't forget, press subscribe, put post notifications on all and get involved with the discussion point by having a comment down below and hitting the like button. Thank you. Oh, that's very important information. But without further ado, let's get into the Marvel Contest of Champions news. Now for a lot of people you might be thinking we're going through a very quiet period of the game where I think that Kabam are doing a lot of things behind the scene gearing us up for the end of the year. Also more information will be announced on what's going to happen by the end of the year at Monday's Marvel Contest of Champions news and I'm going to try not to completely lose my voice which seems to be happening now. My dulcet tones are more dulcet and horrible. Anyway, first story up is all about Alliance Wars. Now as you know on Wednesday's news we said that there was going to be an update to Defence Tactics. And unfortunately it was being said that it is not a case that we can actually get this into the Alliance Wars that was, well are we in the middle of it at the moment? I think that is the case. Will this happen soon? Possibly. And as the article does say that this would likely be in the next placement phase, but it just depends on what actually happens when that actually goes live. In other news, and it's all about announcements. Yes, announcements. Where's the announcements for Act 6.3 and also Variant 4? Not that I really care about Act 6.3 and I'm kind of like... Well, Act 6 is a bit of a meh at the moment. I think I'm going to cultivate champions before going back into a predominantly large amount of 6.2. And, well, 6.3, meh, whatever. I'm more interested with Variant 4 as well. I think a lot of players are as well. Variant 4 is tipped to be Blood and Venom. Although, is that actually correct? Is that is that the case? Well, it looks like the answer is no. And Caban Mike actually made a boo-boo in that information because it's meant to be and as he says i have to admit that i made a mistake here blood and venom is not next it's waning moon i misread some information when writing that kind of makes me feel that is actually variant 4 ready to go because if it's waning moon isn't it meant to have more of an idea around it being moon knight orientated so would moon knight have some kind of special powers for this would it be skill based champions being able to do a lot more Still very hard to tell. Uh, again, if it's not built, then we're not ready to go with it. Also, like, well, if if we don't know that it's the Venom thing and it's the, the Moon Knight thing, are we all confused? Possibly. Shout out to Blitters, 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 whatever, whatever the, the name is, who uh, kind of points out that we're going to have about four variants a year, so expect by the end of November another variant. And I know that Kabam have changed the way they've done variants, which is good because... That uh, variant 2 was a little bit long winded, um, but it was good. Uh, variant 3, very good, very well put together. I'm sure variant 4 will likely be well hailed as a, as a great variant. Um, the less we said about variant 1, the better. But yes, it looks like we will receive 4 a year, and obviously the time frame seemed to work out. But obviously things happen, and I know that Kabam are putting a lot of effort into the next amount of content that's obviously going to finish off the year, which I believe announcements will be coming out next week, even by the indication of what Kabam, was, Kabam Mike was saying a moment ago. But also something to point out, which Variant 2 didn't do, and Variant 3, again, sort of covered. The fact is we probably wouldn't see any kind of bonuses to Moon Knight or a champion like Deadpool X-Force, which is very well pointed out here. So expect something that is somewhat associating with Moon, but maybe not. Or maybe characters that deal with some sort of mercenary type thing. Maybe hashtag mercenary could be something for um, for this particular event, which, you know, it does point to like Domino being the uh, the slayer of this kind of content. Because obviously in the micro realm, we had the XL champions being key, which is kind of odd if you think about it. And then in Variant 3, we had tech champions, which were like uh, sort of hunters, a sentinel obviously being one of hunters of mutant based characters and, and other stuff in between and the way that the story arc kind of worked with, worked with that. So yeah, expect the unexpected. Now back to a story that we covered at the start of the week and that's all about the heal prevention issue with Thanos as well going up against your Nick Fury. So you bring your Nick Fury in, you're kind of wondering why am I degening to death? Uh, the the heal aspect to it, it's gone, what's the deal, this isn't working as intended, this is not fair as intended for those that want to use Nick Fury. Well, there's not been any update for a little while, 
as you can see it just goes right down to the very bottom and no administrator no mods are getting involved in this i think that something may be on the cards in the future but i hear a rumor so rumors are only good as point of facts so if i get facts to you i will get facts to you but at the moment it looks like there's no update i'll keep you posted Hopefully by next week we'll have some answers on this. Now just before I get into the last story, I'm just going to do the announcement of the Instagram giveaway, which obviously if you participated in, you'll know that today is the day. I've decided to bring my camera setup over here, not my main camera, which is there, the quality one. I just show that there's no foul play with this and obviously setting up the webcam for this. Number of winners, six. Obviously there's six prizes. The first big rarity is going to be at the start and then all the lower rarities are then going to go behind it. And the reason I'm doing this way is because it comes up with like reserve winners, which I just don't think is particularly fair. Uh, and obviously there's going to be people unhappy with this whole kind of competition setup in any case. And yeah, I'll revisit it in the future, but hopefully there is more on offer. If I get to New York Comic Con, then do you know what? I'm going to get a lot more for you guys and have a lot more on offer. If I get like 10 prizes available, maybe 15 in the future, that would be something. Also, to let you know, all winners will be contacted prior to MC News going live. It's just so I can then assure that they are our authentic ones. So at the moment, it's uh, just cycling through to just to kind of get all those things, which is done now. As you can see, there's 788 people that uh, put a comment down. More people liked it than commented, but again, you know, thanks for thanks for people that supported this. Also, if I've contacted you, I've given you how to get these things claimed. And also the fact that they are either iOS or, uh, or something else, iOS or uh, Android. Right, now all I need to do is press Start Contest and it starts bringing up the six. So good luck to those that entered. So here we are. These are gonna be the six. The first person that picks up the units is going to be Josh. So Josh, you picked it up. And then Jacob has got the five star, so units five star, and then it goes down the rarities of the four star, the tier four basic, four star with uh, tier four basic for uh, NECO, Freda, and then Virat picks up a four star, and then MCC Boss Seven picks up a four star as well. So again, um, that's I should I would like copy a link, but you guys can see it now. This is how it is. These are the winners. So Josh picks up the units. We then got Jacob picking up the five star. You then got uh, Ty L Z picking up the four star with tier four basic, and NEC O Freda picking up the four star with tier four basic. So tier four class catalyst. Get get my wire straight there. And Virat picks up the four star with MCC Boss Seven picking up a four star as well. So I will contact these people before MCC News goes live. Thank you very much to everybody that participated. And uh, yeah, um, next year. If I get to New York Comic Con, if you guys can help me get there, then I'll pick up a lot more than what I picked up. Congratulations to those people, but we've got to get back to the MCC news. And one of the biggest stories to come out of yesterday was the unfortunate news that, uh, well, Gear Team 2099, after the point of being put into the game and having this amazing synergy, well, prior to even release, but obviously the amount of hype that the champion got from those that picked it up at New York Comic Con, She's getting a nerf, her synergy that is. Seaton put an amazing amount of hype uh, on a video where it just looks at the robot synergy and the extent of power gain, which literally is uncomparable to others and is totally bonkers. The synergy in a nutshell basically means if you're immune to something, you're gonna see amazing amounts of power gain, which is gonna mean that like, hey, it's like as someone points here, it's like Ghost, how it deals with immunities, the point of overpowering that thing, either by damage or creating those fury bursts with Ghost, then this can mean like, wow, a complete like damage dealing powerhouse or special dealing masterclass, whatever you want to call it. The fact is it is pretty darn tasty. Now, Caban Mike, as well as a few other people were kind of like, look, you know, before people invest into this champion, is it going to be working as intended or a bit kind of concerned about the extent of this synergy and what it could do to make a mockery of nodes? Even Caban Mike using the term obsolete which obviously for wrestling fans would particularly enjoy that. For other people, they would just be like, you're a bit mental and 
you'd be right. Now in this thread, this further back and forths on the matter of like making something obsolete, nodes, synergies, and other stuff, and how they have to balance the game around certain aspects of this new synergy, as well as the whole theory of synergies uh, in all. It's, it's kind of like the Big Bang Theory. It's kind of like uh, Stephen Hawking's doing some kind of analytical stuff on the situation. But in a nutshell, where the hell are we up to now? Well, the news from Isengard is that, unfortunately, yes. Got the final word, this is not working as intended and will be fixed before release. The original intention was for the this to work once per fight, but we're looking into other options as well. We want to get this fixed out before the end of the week and we'll have more details on it before it's pushed live. Now, even though the situation has brought negativity, I think it's good at one point to say, look, only about, what, four or five people have Gear Team 2099. We have, well, some people have put hype around that particular champion. It hasn't even reached the CCP yet. So therefore, there's limited hype around it in general. But the point still remains, this is a change, but this is a change before the champion goes live. And it does make me think that it is good in some ways that this has been noticed before people spend money, spend units, and also spend resources to take this champion further. So there's positives in a negative situation, but I know that some people will not be happy about this. But in any case, what are your thoughts? Put them in the comment section down below. Are you a little bit annoyed, but at the same time, are you a little bit happy about the fact that this changed prior to actual release? What will be of this lovely god tier synergy? Well. It's, uh, it's the end, I'm afraid. Actually, no, it's not the end. It's kind of a scaled down version, which I think will just, it will do its job. But I think obviously players will be chomping at the bit for something a bit more and god teary. And there we have it. That has been Marvel Contest of Champions news for Friday, the 18th of October 2019. I've got a brand new series of News Weekend, which is going to be rebranded to News Assemble. And I'll tell you more about that on Sunday. Also, we're probably going to have a very exclusive Monday's Marvel Contest of Champions news. Can't tell you much about that at the moment, but all the information that we need as players will be dropped on Monday. So look forward to that. I'll see you into tonight's live stream because I'm feeling a lot better. Last night I didn't stream because I wasn't feeling too great. I'm feeling a lot better tonight so uh, or today. So see you then. Bye-bye for now.